What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today I want to show you how I created this look right here. I posted this picture on my Instagram yesterday and you guys went crazy. Thank you so much for all the nice feedback, the likes, the comments really meant a lot to me and you were asking me how I created this picture, how I created this look. So I did this video. It's a late one today but I want to show you exactly how to recreate this look. I took it with a professional camera, a Canon 5D Mark IV but I want to show you how to come really close to this look with a smartphone. So we're going to talk about how I took the picture first. I'm going to take you to the shoot and then after I want to show you in the Lightroom app how to recreate the look, how to get the colors um, to really match this picture and then in the overlay app I've created some overlays for you guys to really create that physical vibe to the picture, the dust, the textures and the print scanning lines. So that's what we're going to do today. I hope you enjoy this and for you who want to dive deeper into photography and recreate that real uh, film look with your digital camera, feel free to check out my online course. I've created an academy for you guys, um, huge course where I explain my step by step process, how I find new models, how I um, shoot, what gear I use and then of course later how I edit the pictures to recreate that film look and make the picture look as if it was taken on film. And I'm throwing in a $100 discount right now for you guys for watching this video as a thank you. So feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack. Just text me real quick, ask for the discount code. I'll create one for you guys and you'll get $100 off the academy if that's something that interests you if you really want to grow your photography career and start creating that film look. Now I've said enough, I'll take you to the beach now where we met Noah, a model from Barcelona and she was open enough to shoot with us. Um, we had a cool time at the beach and then I had the idea of taking out this light right here. It's just a simple LED light and we took some red paper and just taped it in front of the light to create that red light on the face and then I just shined the light her way. She came really close to the, um, to the lamp and then we really got that nice red flare and she just moved and I turned the shutter of my camera down a lot so that we can get that blurry look. It's always if you turn your shutter down, your shutter speed, so the lens stays open for a longer time, that's when you get that blurry effect. I've also made a tutorial on that if you want to check it out, a mobile tutorial if you want to create that, um, those light trails, those blurry looks. I'll blend it in right here on top, so go check that out um, to know the shooting technique of how to create that blurry look and then also about the light source. I've also made a video um, to if you don't have an LED light, you can just use some uh, red plastic or this red paper that I use and just stick it in front of the flash of your cell phone and then take your picture with the flash. It will also create a red flash on your model, on your subject. So try that out. That's a really um, simple workaround if you don't have the light. I've also made a video on that already as well, which I'm also going to link under this video or I'm going to blend in right now, uh, right here. So check that out if you're interested in an alternative to creating that light source. So those are those things. Now we know how we took the picture. We did that. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to edit the picture in the free Lightroom app on your mobile phone. I've created a preset for you guys if you don't want to follow along to the whole tutorial. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack with over 100 presets to easily upgrade your Instagram game. So check that out. It really enhances the look on your mobile photography. And the cool thing about the all presets pack is that every time I create new presets like this one today, they're automatically updated to your pack. So you just have to buy it once and you'll get new presets every week. It's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is also under this video, but we're going to jump into the tutorial now. So what you want to do is open your picture on your phone if you haven't already taken it with your phone and then we want to open it in the free Lightroom app right now. So we open the Lightroom app right here and this is our picture. Now the first thing is in the light tab, we want to go to curve on the upper right side and I just want you to pull down the shadows a little bit and the mid highlights a little bit to create that really smooth S curve here. Once you have this, we are done and we just want to boost up the contrast a little bit in this case to around plus 11. Then the highlights we want to boost up to plus 26 right there. The shadows we want to pull down to negative 13 and the whites we want to boost up to plus 14 right there. Boost up the blacks as well to plus 6. And then we go over to color right here and we just boost up the temperature a little bit to plus 13 right there. Pull down the tint to negative 8 or 9 
and the saturation down to negative eight as well. And what we wanna do next is scroll up, go to color mix, and for the red tones, we just want to boost up the hue a little bit to plus 16. Then we wanna boost up the saturation to plus 30 and pull down the luminance a little bit to negative six right there. And the orange tones, what we wanna do is pull down the hue to negative 17 to that red area. The saturation, we wanna boost up to plus 21. And we want to pull down the luminance to negative 27 right here. Really, really subtle edits. The yellow tones, we just want to pull down the hue to that orange area to negative 40. Uh, that's it. The green tones, we're not gonna change anything. But for the aqua tones here, we wanna pull down the hue to that green area to negative 25. Leave the rest as it is. Go to the blue tones, pull the hue down to negative 18 or negative 17, and the saturation down to negative 11 right here. And then we are done with the color. Now we go to the grading tab right there. What you wanna do for the shadows is just pull down to a saturation of around 14 on that middle slider or 13. And then on the side, choose a hue of around 20 right here. And then for the midtones, we want to again boost up the saturation to 34 and take that hue slider and pull it all the way to 223 or 24 right there, that blue area. And now we can really get the background blue here. And now for the highlights, the last thing we wanna do is pull the saturation slider to around 10 in this case is fine. And then the hue slider to around 73 right there or 69 in this case. Um, yeah, around that green yellow area. And um, then we are done here with the colors. We go over to the effects. Now the last thing you wanna do is just pull down the clarity a little bit to negative 16, boost up the dehaze to plus nine or plus 10. And now of course we want to add grain to plus 25 right here. And um, then we are done in the Lightroom app. That's our result from the Lightroom app. Now I've also created a preset on exactly this look. If you're having troubles following along to the tutorial or you just don't have the time, just easily download it. Link is under this video. And then we want to export this file to camera roll. And now we want to download, I've created two overlays for you guys. I'm also linking them under this video. They're free for you guys. I just thought I'll give something back as a thank you to 97,000 subscribers here. It's absolutely crazy. So I created these two overlays for you um, as a little thank you for free. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell to show a little bit of appreciation back. Um, thank you so much for your support. And now what we wanna do, as soon as you downloaded these two free overlays, we want to go into the Over app, right here also linked under this video, it's a free app, and we want to open it up. And now of course we want to open the picture that we have just created in our Lightroom app. So we go to the plus down here, go to image on the upper left side, and then we just wanna choose this picture right here, hit the check mark on the upper right side, now it's imported and now we want to overlay um, those that dust texture at first. So we hit image again and now you want to search for your dust texture right here, which is kind of a black picture with some white spots. You just wanna turn it until it kind of fits the image like around here is good. And then down here we wanna scroll over to where it says blend all the way on the right side and then we want to go to screen right here. And now you can see those scratches and that dust applied onto the picture. And it already looks a lot realer, way more physical. And um, that's perfect. We hit the check mark. And now the last thing I've created is that second line scan lines overlay for you. So we go to image again and all photos, recents. And if you downloaded them from the pack for free, um, you just open them here and you're gonna see them applied onto your picture. You don't have to change the plant blending mode. So we just zoom in a little bit, make sure they fit on top of the picture. And now it's a little 
too hard for my for my taste so what you want to do is scroll over to where it says opacity right here and just pull that down to around maybe 15 or 14 percent and um, hit the check mark export the picture and save to your camera roll and then that's it guys here's a little before and after and i think we created a really really interesting look you guys seem to like it on my instagram thanks so much for all the love the support you showed for this picture and i hope this was an interesting tutorial for you guys i hope you could learn one thing or two um, from this video and once again thank you so much for supporting the channel for uh, liking for motivating me and of course for subscribing we're 97,000 subscribers now thanks so much once again i want to remind you that i've created this online course for you guys where you can just dm me for a 100 dollars discount code on my instagram just feel free to ask me about that if you want to learn more about photography and how i create that film look and of course if you're interested in the all presets pack with over 100 presets that's growing on a weekly basis also feel free to just check out the link under this video and start upgrading your mobile photography now thanks so much for watching i hope i'll see you in the next tutorial or video and of course if there's anything you need any questions you have always feel free to dm me on instagram at stephen womack is my handle thanks so much for watching see you around take care stay healthy stay creative peace